Welcome guys back to another video. This is a champion select. Uh, it's quite an interesting system. Never done something like this before. Um, we don't actually have any technically any champions, but it's not too bad to make ones. So what we're gonna do is we're essentially just gonna set the framework for it, and um, that should be pretty easy. So we don't want this scene. We want start scene. We're actually gonna have something called the champion select, and there's gonna be stuff. So there's the champion select. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have like two rows essentially of players. And it's gonna be called our main panel. Actually, we don't even have a main panel. We're actually just gonna cut this in half. Actually, no, we do really need a main panel. Oh well. Where's my main gun inside here? We can go this main panel. And this one came over back here, I don't know. I'm sure there's no things. So, I know width wise maybe just like 200. And then make it like that much, I think it's pretty good. Then copy it and push it over here. Um, I guess. So this thing is going to be uh, side one or side zero, doesn't really matter. And this is going to be side two or one, doesn't really matter. So side each one will have multiple different players. Now to allow you to have as many players as you actually need, so what we're going to do is we're just going to have a prefab, and we're just going to instantiate that prefab. Prefab is going to be quite simple, so it's going to be like something like this big, and it's literally just going to contain the, well I mean we, how, we're just probably just going to stick to the simple 5 dose in this one, but I mean, so we're just going to kind of make it 5, okay, they could be a bit smaller, we can be like another kind of 1 in total length, so maybe like, I will make it 0 by 0, I don't know, maybe like 120, and we're we'll gonna make it max and maybe make like a say bluish color like that and that looks ugly. I'll fix these up later. This is by the way is just check if we're fine. This is actually fine if I have this. So we can call this prefab. So this is gonna be a few things. So this is going to be the uh, not panel as an image. And it's just that you guys can have your name on it. Um I just going to put it to the side here. Uh put it across a bit like this. And then it's gonna also have the Because I mean, we're doing a similar summon spell thing, so we're just gonna do a so make sure we got that similar system. So one and two. Actually, I don't like that, so I'm actually gonna make them a bit smaller. Um, that is way too small. Like forty by forty. Essentially, we don't like this much. I don't know, like maybe thirty along. Like this, so kind of like perfectly there. I think we can like select it. Essentially, do the same thing, but maybe make it a bit bigger. Same with two point five is pretty good. And then we can have like the actual name under it. There we go, dirt, 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 one to a hundred, and we can start naming these. Name, portrait, um, summoner one, summoner, I don't know, spell two, spell. One. I've been very much into the underscores now. 
anyway. And then under name can actually be a bit more of a title. And we can just make sure it's based up a bit. Name. The title can be a little smaller. And maybe a little different color. Ask me. Title, yay! It's like title. So I know like Bob and Free Lord Kieran. Like that kind of thing. I like that. Okay. So we'll just write title here. Uh, summoner prefab. I know I'm copying like all the names from like the legends and stuff just because it makes it easier in my head and to me and figure ones. Uh, maybe have like I don't know, green side. There we go. And then we're gonna make one like right over here. Uh, vertical layout group. Don't stretch them. Upper center. Um, but we're gonna make it. I don't know. It was like I can't remember what it was before. Okay, look here. It was uh, two hundred by one twenty. Two hundred by one twenty. There we go. And then we'll make it like red. You make it like a yellow, I don't know. We'll make it yellow, why not? Make it a little different. Yellow and green. Um, and inside zero, you can have vertical light group. Don't do it. Upper center. I know, middle center is fine. This, we can have layout group. Or layout element. Do, 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 do. There we go. And that's the other's going to go down here. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to. So, we're going to conclude that you've reached how many people you want. Huh. How do we want to do this? We do it like you join champion, set your, cha set your champion, and then as people join, they can set their champions or leave. That makes much more like a team builder. You join, you have a role, they just leave, and then join another one. I like that. I'm not going to do that. So we're going to conclude that. You only go to champion sites when you have all your members. So whether or not you start a server and a little thing pops up saying, hey, this is how many people you have. You only go to when you have mad people. people. So that means that we will uh, for 
zero i is less than um uh oh because if we're spawning objects we can just send that command to everyone yeah we'll do that so we'll have like thing called like uh rpc void spawn object um and to require this we actually require an object so obviously game object object and and obviously the location um yeah I'm happy with this again okay. so we're gonna have a public game object called the prefab for summoner champ select make it as use as long as useless as it can be um so when you go to champion select uh, we check if network dot is server if you server then you don't run this stuff otherwise you don't so if you're a server then what we're gonna do is we can go for int i is equal to zero i is less than network dot connections I plus plus and then obviously this is connections to you by the way actually we could just do IDs because whenever a player joins yeah we'll just go through all the IDs uh, I do remember us when you're hosting yeah we do this There we go, that's gonna be useful. Spawn object. Um, no, we don't want to do that. For each one of these, we're gonna spawn an object, but we also gotta make sure we bounce the teams. So, um, do we just do even odd, even odd? Yeah, I think that's what we do. If I, uh, what was it? Is if I is percentage one is equal to zero. Uh, let's see if I can find my script. There was something I had. Um, not there. I know. I'm pretty sure it's here actually. If it's odd or even, what does that say? If I it wasn't that. Let me quickly Google it. Uh. C sharp find if object is odd. Um is it uh, if number percentage two is equal to zero, okay. So that's the thing. So if it's this is this means um, there's no remainders left. This means there is remainders left. So if there's remainders, we got to put them on the red side. If not, then we put them on the green side or green and yellow side. Sorry. So then we have a um, trans. I don't know. We'll just say game object, and we'll call this. Um, uh, I guess we'll just call it panel green side. Then we'll have another one, which we'll just call panel yellow side. 
Um, player yellow. And then play green. Okay, so if that if your player, then what we're going to do is we're going to create everyone a player on that spot. So if if the ID is that, then what we're going to do is we're going to actually talk to that player and say, "You that player, this is this." Now ID is actually the GUID, so we may be able to find something through network dot. Um, I'm pretty sure we can find a player. Um, we got this. We, we can break just call and view to RPC, blah blah. Um, we can just go like player. Hmm. Well, okay, because we want to be able to find someone by their GUID network. Find someone by GUID. I'm happy with this. Um, we just want to send an RPC. I hey, hate when you look at you and you're like, what do I do? Um, Time is 20 minutes, okay. Um, we only want to send a specific player. The the tis tis um I think we can just do um, 
Friend like friend like a network player. Is it network to find? But we don't want to find an ID. Because what we want to do is we want to send uh, an, a call to that player saying you're this person. Wait, we could just do that under the RPC call, can't we? Yeah. Okay. So this is even. Then we're gonna go RPC um. M view, which is our view dot RPC, and we're just gonna call spawn object, and then the targets can be everyone or buffered, and then the arguments are essentially gonna be um, where is it? Prefab uh, green and um, panel green. Otherwise, we're gonna spawn a prefab here. The only difference is this is gonna be prefab yellow and pant player yellow. And then also be yellow. There we go. Very simple. So under here, we're gonna check if. Um, Maybe we want an ID count of that player. Uh, we're just going to call this spawn champ select player. It's a very long thing, but this means that we can actually be much more specific. But otherwise, spawn object's a bit too uh, ambiguous. And we're also going to require another thing. We're going to require. Oh, that's going to be a transform. And. Do transform, yay! Okay. We're also going to require one more thing, which is essentially going to be a string, which is going to be a GUID of the I know, ID we'll require. And then that's going to be quite simple. It's just going to be the IDI. Screen pieces because we're lazy. There we go. I, that was way more trouble than it was worth. There we go. Um, 23 minutes in, so we're going to finish it up basically now. But you can see that we're going to spawn players. So, on player connect, how about we say when we join a server, we're going to run this um and see how it works so it's gonna we're just gonna do a very simple spawn thing we're not gonna do any other ideas we're just gonna go um uh game object dot instantiate um prefab uh the so object um uh location Got to do position of oh, this camera cap object it says object to spawn location and finally um, uh, Cretonian identity. I believe it, you have to do it that way, or is it just one? 
Yeah, there you go. There we go. So as soon as you maybe on play connected, we'll run this. We go champion selection. So then that means we go champ. Go active. So now we're gonna build and run this. Uh, oh, it actually wants me to do this. This is stupid. Okay. Call this uh, networking example. There we go. Go to find it. Um, 